remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Police say a group of men ambushed and assaulted a pizza delivery worker in Brooklyn, stealing everything, including his bicycle. He stole his bicycle, his watch, his jacket, and they made off with the grand total of $70. Four dudes. Aston Cruz says he believes he was set up. Let me tell you something, family. This caught my attention because less than an hour ago, I was talking to my sister about my nephew working as a pizza delivery worker, and I told her, yeah, that's a bad idea because these guys get jumped a lot and oftentimes get killed. If you think I'm lying, Google it. Just Google pizza delivery worker assaulted or killed. And you'll see hundreds, literally hundreds of articles popping up. So bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. Now, this story is twofold. I'm going to talk about briefly this these type of jobs, you know, that are very, very risky. And then I'm going to go into the other side of it from the uh, suspect point of view. So from a worker standpoint, my cousin used to work at a convenience store. Convenience stores are notorious for being robbed and clerks getting shot and killed. So he had me to you know, come sit in with him one day. And he was like, and this is back in the day before I started getting any kind of money. So <laughs> I'm broke, I ain't got nothing to do. <laughs> so <laughs> I uh, I go out there and sit with him. And he's like, yeah, man, just, you know, just take whatever you want, you know, grab whatever you want. You want to eat, you know, grab something, you know. So that was cool. That was a nice little perk. But I'm, the whole time I'm watching the interaction of people, how people moving in and out of the the gas station. Uh, and I'm like, this ain't cool. Like, we're very vulnerable. And it's, it's like in the wee hours of the night. And this, coincidentally, this happened at 4.30 in the morning in Brooklyn, the pizza guy getting robbed. So I'm talking about my cousin was working these like wee hours, like, you know, midnight, one, two, three, four, five in the morning. I'm like, and where, where there's low visibility, right? So I was paranoid the whole time. Needless to say, that was my last time sitting there with him at that gas station slash convenience store. Now, I will avoid those type of situations by any means, I would not put my child or myself in a position like that where I'm working these type of jobs or they have to work a job like that. I would not do something like that. It's way too dangerous. Off the beaten path. Once I had some homies that came to my house late at night. You had the leader, and then you had, he had about maybe four followers with him. Now, when I say the leader, he wasn't a leader of me. We were on equal levels, but he had a little following crew. You know, he was, he, you know, he was the type of dude, he was really good with his hands. He was manipulative. He was the type of dude that the youngsters looked up to because he was wild, he was dangerous, uh, he was, you know, he didn't really have any rules. You know, he smoked weed, drank, you know, just do all of the rebellious stuff that a lot of times youngsters are attracted to. And he used his influence for bad. When I, 
when I say youngsters, he was probably only like, at that time, we were like 18. So these youngsters were like 15, 16. Anyway, they came to my house one night and they told me they was going on a mission to do some robbing. So I looked at them and I saw the reason why I didn't go with them is because it was, I felt like it was too many of them. And I'm always thinking like, man, you know, I'm always thinking somebody might tell, right? So I'm, I'm like, man, it's too many people. And if something go wrong, they're going to tell. I, at that time, was broke. So going on a mission to get some money sounded appealing. But I turned it down that night because I just didn't feel comfortable. Turns out the next morning, it's all over the news. An old black man was found dead inside of his cab in our neighborhood, parked in front of the church, stabbed multiple times. They stabbed this man over 20-something times. The grand total was 60 bucks. This was the beginning of the cab murders in Houston. There were like over six or seven cab murders. And the dudes who came to my house that night, they were responsible for all of them. They get less than $10 out of the deal if they break it even, which I know my partner did not break it down even with them. <laughs> he probably didn't give them anything. But they all ended up with life sentences. All of them got 25 to life. Threw their life away behind something as petty as robbing a cab driver. That wouldn't have been the lick for me anyway. Because I, I, I'm always thinking, like, where the money at? How much money is it? You know? And I'm not trying to go on a mission like that. Right? So I was like, I can't feel it. I passed. I see so often people be out here, man, doing, going on these dummy missions, robbing people, and it just don't add up. The money that they get and the time that's associated with it, the penalty, the, the punishment, it don't add up to me. Those fools in Brooklyn robbed Dude, for $70, $70, they got a bicycle out of the deal, they got a jacket and a cell phone, but they got $70 in cash. Four dudes got to split $70 in cash. It don't add up. And the asses will get caught because this is a, High profile case. By the way, they stabbed dude in, in both of his legs. The guy was all right. They took him to the hospital. He's all right. In any event, these fools robbed a man for $70. They stabbed him. So not only do they have a robbery, these fools are going to get charged with attempted murder when they get caught. They each of them are going to do a minimum of a dime. Minimum. 70 bucks. What is that split between four people? About uh, 18 bucks or something like that? A piece? It don't add up. So you got 18 bucks. You do, even if you do 10 years. That means you made less than $2 a year. I'm not trying to tell anybody what to do. You know what? I am. I am trying to tell somebody what to do. Because I love you for real. The best thing that you can do if you're trying to hit a lick is to go to straight and narrow and get yourself a job. Work for it. The shortcut is in the work. You dig what I'm saying? Let me say that again. The shortcut is in the work.
If you are going to go out there and do something wild anyway, make sure that the money you receive, whatever financial compensation that you receive is worth it for the time that you sit in that prison. So if you jump out there, let's say you hit a $10,000 lick, you get 10 years, you made $1,000 a year. That's if you get to keep the money. You will go in debt paying for lawyers. Sitting there begging for people to send you money, visit you, missing time with your loved ones. May not even be there to watch some of them be memorialized when they pass on. I'm just giving you options. Do what you want to do. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?